Computer graphics has evolved from simple line drawings to photorealistic 3D animation. Join us as we hear from computer graphics pioneers Ed Catnell and Pat Hanrahan, the 2019 ACM AM Touring Award recipients. Ed Catnell founded the Computer Graphics Lab at New York Institute of Technology, the Computer Division of Lucasfilm, and Pixar Animation Studios. Pat Hanrahan is also a founding member of Pixar and developed rendering software for creating realistic computer graphics scenes. When I was young and, and I was in school, I was a very good artist. I was probably the best in the school and I wanted to be an animator. The iconic heroes at that time were Walt Disney and Einstein. And I was also good at physics and science. When I got to high school, I realized that I wasn't good enough in art to get to the level that I wanted to be. So I switched over into physics. And then I got a second degree in computer science and when I took my first course in computer graphics, taught by Ivan Sutherland, it hit me like a, a, a brick, because here was the ability to put art together with science. Now the art at the time was very crude. It was drawings of polygons, either roughly shaded or even just the lines of the polygons. But you could see the potential there. And so I took on the project of trying to come up with a way of rendering curved surfaces. By the time I graduated, I realized that while we had a long ways to go, we would be able to get to the point where we could make computer animated films. I went to a place called New York Institute of Technology to learn more about computer graphics. And Ed had actually founded the graphics lab there. And so I got to know Ed, I met him at SIGGRAPH again, and when I finally graduated, Ed was in the process of spinning Pixar out of Lucasfilm. So Ed offered me a job and I went to Pixar. So we got together with about 19 other companies to design a user interface to graphics. Pat, he made all of the final decisions in what went into RenderMan. And RenderMan was supposed to be like PostScript. It was a way of describing 3D scenes and with these 3D scenes, you could render very realistic images. The main thing I added, which is my paper, probably that got me the Turing Award, is called the RenderMan Shading Language. So what the shading language does is it, actually take this bowling pin, for example, it describes how this thing looks. It describes like these decals, it describes these, you know, uh, markings on it, it describes the dents on the ball. It's quite tricky to describe the appearance of a surface like this. And there are many different things that go into it. And there's no simple formula for this. So I realized that if you wanted to describe uh, complex lights and surfaces and materials, that you needed essentially a programming language for that, which became a shading language. And that, I think, was one of the real powerful aspects of RenderMan. There was a common goal of trying to reach uh, the appearance of reality but it was so hard and it was also fairly easy to define that we could use that as a, uh, a North Pole uh, until we actually reached the point where you can make images that they really do look real. Ed was always the visionary with films and movies. I mean, he had this dream that we could make a full like computer generated movie. I was probably more of a technical person. I was sort of maybe immersed in the details of how to do it. I actually didn't think we would be able to do it in my lifetime. <laughs> I mean, it just seems almost unattainable that we could make a, you know, a movie with everything you needed to do. Getting to the point where we were able to make Toy Story, that meant a lot to me. After a 20-year pursuit, we really got there. We really made the film and it changed the industry. And I was very grateful along the way. We had the support of George Lucas and Steve Jobs and uh, Alex Shurvik at New York Tech. Both Pat and I agree it's just a little embarrassing for us to be called out because we're very aware that there were so many other people who created environments, uh, produced people, led, wrote papers, uh, all of which uh, made us so that computer graphics became a very important contributor to the, uh, the whole field of computing. And so, you know, I really 
think of this award as really about the whole computer graphics community. All the people, not just Ed and I, that sort of work together, highly you know, inspired by ACM and SIGGRAPH. Learn more about 2019 ACM AM Touring Award recipients Ed Catmull and Pat Hanrahan in the June 2020 Communications of the ACM.